شعبان Yeah, man. Is it Edomite saying that the law, the laws were given to everybody? He doesn't know what he's talking about, and he doesn't even understand what the old covenant was, man. First of all, the original covenant was with Abraham. You know, and the Most High, the Most High called him. The, the, he was known as the friend of the Most High. Abraham was known as father of many nations because he, he basically. The, the progenitor of all the tribes of Israel and even of other nations but it was still written um, um, in Isaac shall thy seed be called you know which was Jacob and with this this is the the old covenant when the laws were introduced, you know, when he went from Mount Sinai after the enslavement of the Egyptians, let's see who the the covenant and the laws were were, were pertaining to. Exodus twenty four, we'll start from verse four. And Moses wrote all the words of the Lord Yahweh, and rose up early in the morning, and built an altar under the hill and twelve pillars according to the twelve tribes of Israel. Not the whole world. Yeah, the laws were not given to the whole world. Yeah, and there's a, a, a doctrine say people are saying that these are the laws of Moses. No, we have to correct you that these are the the laws of the Most High given unto Moses to pass on to the children of Israel to observe. Yeah, for all of Israel to observe for basically forever. But in the New Covenant, which I'll get later. Uh, we're no longer going to have to observe the laws because we are going to be actually executing the laws perfectly, you know, in righteousness. So, verse 5, and as, and as he sent young men of the children of Israel, he didn't send, send young men of the other nations, all right, which offered burnt offerings and sacrificed peace offerings of oxen unto the Lord. And Moses took half of the blood and put it on basins. And half of the blood he sprinkled on the altar, and he took the book of the covenant, and read read in the audience of the people, and they said, "All that the Lord Yahweh have said, we will do, and be obedient." And Moses took the blood and sprinkled it on the people, and said, "Behold, the blood of the covenant, which the Lord have made with you concerning all these words." Then went up Moses and Aaron, Nadab and Abihu, and seventy of the elders of Israel. And they saw the God of Israel, and there was under his feet, as it were, paved work of a sapphire stone, and as it were, the body of heaven in his clearness. Yeah, that's it on that. Well, we can go 12. And the Lord said unto Moses, Come up to me in the mount. And be there, and I will give thee tablets of stone and a law and commandments which I have written, that thou mayest teach them. See, the Lord the Lord wrote it, the Lord gave it. Yeah, so it, it didn't come out of the mind of Moses. He didn't make it up. No, the Lord gave it. The Lord designed the law. So therefore, the the laws are actually perfect. It's just that we are not perfect. It's fault within us. Our flesh is you know corruptible and it's subject to sin. That's why the Lord sent um, the Son, the Savior, Yahweh Shai, who the world calls Jesus Christ, to, to deliver us, the people that were in uh, in bondage of sin. Yeah. And this was the was a, this is a learning. Uh, this is a learning for all Israel. Because even though the Lord gave us the laws to practice. It also teaches us that we are nothing without the Lord. That we cannot do things on our own. We need to have faith in Yahweh by Hashem Yeah. Yeah. Then 
the wicked teaches us how not to be and the righteous teaches the wicked how they should be so it's a balance yeah, but anyways the point is that the laws were given to the nation of Israel you know you had the Edomite so so called white man from the the JTW Ministries, he's talking about the laws were given to everybody. Well, what scripture is that, man? See, just pulling out things from his ass, man. Psalms 105 and 6. O ye seed of Abraham, his servant, ye chosen of Jacob, his chosen. He is the Lord, Yahweh our God. His judgments are in all the earth. He have remembered his covenant forever, the word which he commanded to a thousand generations, yeah? which covenant he made with Abraham. You see, that's what I said earlier. It's from the scriptures. The covenant was first made with Abraham. And at that time, there was no uh, commandment, like um, laws written in stone, in tablets. It was already prophesied for us since Abraham. That we're going to dwell in the land of milk and honey, the land of Israel forever. But then when it came to Moses' time, the Lord implemented the laws. Because we were in the land of Israel. Which we took from the land of Canaan, which was word, even prophesied for us. Proph prophesied for our people to have anyway. But once we were in that land with Moses, after being redeemed from, redeemed from Egypt... The Lord told us to keep these commandments so we can stay in that land. You know, the land of Israel forever. But obviously, we became disobedient. We disrespected the Lord and didn't um, execute his laws. You know. And therefore, what happened? We got scattered and we to different nations and we kept going into different type of slavery. And we're in slavery right now under the so-called white man. Yeah. The so-called white man doesn't have the curses that we have. Yeah. We don't go the go through the curses that we have. That's in the book of Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight. You know. And if you see you see other nations going through our curses, then most likely they're Israelites. The spirit, you know, but the Lord knows if they are or not. You know, the angels know if they are or not, you know, wherever they're scattered. But at the end of the day, all we gotta do is teach the word, and the elect from all the elect from wherever they are, no matter how they look like. Those Israelites that are in foreign places, that don't that don't look like the typical Israelite. <laughs> If, if it's the Lord's will for them to hear the word and repent, then they will repent. You know, that's it. If they don't want to hear the word, yeah, no matter how they look like, they're going to be destroyed. As simple as that, man. Yeah, you're going to have Israelites, Israelites from the seed of Israel go back to the man Israel and they're going to look white. You know? But their forefathers is of the nation of Israel. It's just that their previous forefathers have mingled with an Edomite woman, and that's it. And they just came out looking at, uh, looking like Edomites. You see it in these celebrities, Blake Griffin, all these people, man. I got uh, one friend from the world. His woman is a, a so-called white woman. She might even be a, a white Israelite anyway, a, a white Jake. But he's a Benjamite. The guy's a Benjamite. He's got two kids, and his kids don't even look like him. The kids look like white babies. They don't even have, they, they look so so called white that they don't even have so called, um, the typical so called mixed, mixed race features. They look like a straight up white baby. No curly hair, straight hair. So called white skin. So explain that. Wait, but the, the father is an Israelite. See, so it makes the children the Israelite. That's why you got a lot of people in Israel are confused and they can't understand that. See, the Lord has blocked their mind. 
So you're going to get Israelites that don't look like Israelites, but they're Israelites. It's controversy, man. The Lord likes controversy. But anyways, which covenant he made with Abram and his oath unto Isaac, see? Isaac had two sons, Jacob and Esau. Who was chosen? Jacob. And I, and I know you Christians know that. So you got to explain if Jacob was chosen and Esau wasn't. Esau wasn't chosen. Where where's his uh where's his sympathy? How how come the Lord didn't didn't bless him then? Give him any future blessings? You saying that God loves everybody? How come he didn't choose Esau then? How come he didn't choose um, Ishmael or the, any other nations? The Egyptians, the Ethiopians. Do you not know that the Lord killed Egyptians? Hmm. And confirm the same unto Jacob for a law, law, law was given unto Jacob and to Israel for an everlasting covenant. I have to stress this again. And confirm the same unto Jacob for a law. So the law was given to Jacob, the Israelites. Yeah? So he's preaching false doctrine, saying that the law was given to everybody. Where is that? I'm reading right here. And it says, and to Israel for an everlasting covenant. He was saying that the covenant's for everybody. But it said, and to Israel for an everlasting covenant. Exclusively, it says, in other words, exclusive, exclusively to Israel. And not only exclusively, the covenant is everlasting. In other words, forever. Saying unto thee, I will give thee the land of Canaan, the lot of your inheritance. See? Beautiful, man. So, I don't know what he's talking about, man. Anyway, starts foaming out of the mouth. I'm exaggerating, but. You no, know, he starts leaving hurt. And you see, when they leave hurt, he left the camp hurt or upset. He starts saying, oh, the Lord is not coming back uh, to save people because you're of a certain color. First of all, the brothers just explained to you that they never, we, we never taught anything about the Lord is going to save you based on your color. They just said it right in front of you that it's based on your race, that you're of the seed of Israel. You see what I'm saying? When they get hurt, when they get upset, their emotions kick in and they start saying things that we didn't say. You want us to say that it's based on colour so it can be easy for you to what uh, trap us in or confound us. But no, it's not going to happen because we never preach that. That's not a part of the gospel. That's not in the scripture. Where in the scripture does it say you're going to be saved? By the color of your skin. We've never preached that. You you, you Edomites, you so-called white people, you Christians, you, you're hypocrites. You're just jealous, just hating. You're just upset, emotional. And you start to bring out false, you know, allegations, you know, slandering. When did we say that, man? We said it's about Israelites. That's it. The Lord said it was about Israelites. I'm not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He didn't. He and he, he didn't say I'm coming to save the dark skin Israelites, or the light skin Israelites. No, he just said Israelites. Yeah, and Israelites vary to very different skin color. Yeah, originally they are people of color and still are, but guess what? In some cases, you're gonna have Israelites that are al al albino. Which is a curse to have that skin, but they're still Israelites. You're gonna have Israelites that look so like so-called white people will be considered as so-called white people. You're gonna have Israelites from different countries. Well, that's part of the prophecy. Let me get it. Since he wants to talk about the Gentiles, Gentiles, he doesn't know what Gentiles is talking about.
Isaiah 11.10, And in that day there shall be a root of Jesse, which shall stand for an ensign of a people, to which shall the Gentiles seek, and his rest shall be glorious. Yeah, which Gentiles, man? The Gentiles that are scattered upon the earth. The foreign people. The for it's like the foreign Israelites. Yeah? And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people. Yeah? Who's his people? Israelites. Which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt yeah? and from Paphros. So you, you got Egypt, East Africa, Africa, the continent of Africa, those regions, Israelites are there. The Lord's people are there. Paphros, Asia Minor, Cush, Ethiopia, from Elan, the East Indians, Israelites are scattered in Bangladesh, India, Pakistan, Goa, Sri Lanka. You've got Israelites there. And from China, from Hamath, and from the islands of the sea. You know, different countries, different islands. You're going to have Israelites. You have Israelites in a Pacific, you know, Hawaii, the, the Samoans, you know, the, the, you know, the rock is an Israelite, man. He's Samoan. But he's an Israelite, man. You can tell by his spirit, his character, flavor. He's known as the, the most electrifying man in sports entertainment. Doing great in his movies. Even though he sold his soul and shit like that. But still, that's our people. Our people stand out. And listen to this, verse 12. And he shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel. Outcasts. The Gentiles. And gather together the dispersed diaspora of Judah from the four corners of the earth. So we're everywhere. So he don't know, he doesn't know what he's talking about, man. To push, thrust, chase, overflow, totters, or drive, drive away, or out, be outcast, be cast down. To push, push violently, to be thrust down, be cast down. To be, how would they drive away or out? Through slavery, taken away. Different periods of time, different rulerships, different kingdoms. Israel has been scattered, scattered and scattered, pushed away, taken out from their homeland, taken out from Judea, taken out from Jerusalem, taken out from the, the country, Israel itself. Yeah, to a different location. Yeah, this is, a, this is a good scripture. First Corinthians chapter 12, verse 2. You know that ye were Gentiles. I ain't read this in a while. First Corinthians 12 and 2. Ye know that ye were Gentiles. Yeah. Because now the light is on them. So you know. Now the light is on. You know that you was a Gentile. Yeah. You know that you was a foreigner. Because you were in a state of a, for, a foreign mind. You were ignorant to ignorant to yourself. Ignorant to your power, your God, your Savior, Yahweh Shai, who the world calls Jesus Christ, carried away onto these dumb idols. So these people that Apostle Paul was talking to and were known as Gentiles were carried away onto these dumb idols. They were enslaved. 
taken away from their homeland to worship these dumb idols, to worship statues. Even as ye were led, they were led by people. Yeah? And those Gentiles that is referring to here that are destined for salvation is the Israelite foreigners, man. You need to learn the history. That's what Isaiah is there for. That's why Apostle Paul talks about the Gentiles in Romans chapter 9, 23, 24. Not only the Jews only, but the Gentiles too. And he's referring to the book of Isaiah and Hosea. Isaiah and Hosea, which both talk about the nation of Israel. Just get it quickly. Just breeze through it. You can read it by yourself. We'll go straight to the point. But look what it says. Romans 9, 24. Because they want to know who the Gentiles are. Yeah, Look. Even us whom he have called. Not of the Jews only. But also of the Gentiles. It's a question. So it's not of the Jews only. But of the Gentiles also basically. As he saith. Also in OC. Which is Hosea. I will call them my people which are not my people. And her beloved which was not beloved. And it, was, and it shall come to pass that in a place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there shall they be called the children of the living God. You can go to Hosea 1 and 10, 1 and 11, it says that, which is concerning Israel. Then it says this, Isaiah, book of Isaiah, also crieth concerning Israel. Stop. I thought the topic was, the gospel is not only for the Jews, but for the Gentiles too. And you Christians like to say that the, the Gentiles that the Bible is referring to, especially the New Testament, is the other foreign nations that are not a part of Israel. Well, Apostle Paul just gave two witnesses, one of Hosea, one of Isaiah. Yeah, You can go read Hosea by yourself from chapter 1. It will tell you and it will have the same quotes. Even in chapter 2 too. But verse 27 makes it even clear. It gives you a sign of what the Gentiles he's talking about. Because he said, Isaiah also cry, crieth concerning Israel. Why didn't he say, Isaiah also crieth concerning the Gentiles? Because he knows that the Gentiles he's referring to are Israelites. That's why he said also. Also meaning also relating to. The topic that he's talking about, the Gentiles. So Apostle Paul knows that the Gentiles he's talking about, or has been prophesied about, you know, that Isaiah spoke about, are Israelites from different countries, which we just read. For over a number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, a remnant shall be saved. A remnant shall be saved. Do you remember those words? A remnant. What did Isaiah 11 say? The Lord shall assemble the remnant of his people, the outcasts of Israel. From where? All over the world. So that's it, man. So with that, I hope you've been edified. Don't be listening to these Edomites. Don't be listening to Jesus, the word. You can listen for entertainment, cool, but they ain't got the truth, man. <laughs> I believe, and I'm sure other brothers believe, that the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shah is dealing with our apostles and elders of Great Mostar, that we believe that have the truth, man, and we respect and give double honors to, man. You know, Brakfa, Yahweh Bashim Shah, Bashim Kadash, the so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Hispanics, and those that are scattered through the earth, no matter how you look like, you are the actual. Seed of Israel, seed of Jacob, you know, through Bible prophecy and through characteristics and identification of the scriptures that reveal our personalities and, and characters, and even the curses that will be upon us for a sign and wonder, which is in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, man, and our enslavement, the transatlantic slave trade. The so called white man had us in slavery and still has in a mental form which is written also in the book, book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. So yeah, these Christians don't know what they're talking about. 
you know. And even other Israelites don't know what they're talking about because they're saying Esau can make it and shit like that, you know. Or other doctrines like uh, the mark of the beast is not the chip, which it is the chip, man, yeah. But hey, man, if you don't repent, you get destroyed, man. And only the elect of Israel are going to be able to repent. So with that, I'd like to say, Shalom, Rafaya, Bashim Shah. Hope you've been edified. Yeah. Shalom.